Welcome back. I'm Dinesh De Silva. For those who are new to this channel, you probably don't know me. Great to have you join us in this video. I'll be showing you how to create your ideal customer avatar. This is so important if you want to get results in social media. And by not getting your ideal customer avatar right, people don't get any results from social media. So if you want to get it right, this is something you must get right. If you like this short lesson, guys, man, don't forget to press the subscribe button below and also gently click that notification bell. Fantastic. If you do have any questions, make sure you uh, leave those questions in the comments area and I'll get back to you straight away. Thank you. Now, how do we nail your target audience? And how do we create content? that engages them because we still got to drive the right traffic, not any traffic to our websites. So if we don't drive the right traffic, you're not going to get them to turn into customers. You need to know who your ideal customers are, but you also know who is not your customer so that you don't waste your money and time driving the wrong people to your website. That's a huge area of wastage of small business resources not knowing who your ideal customers are. So you've got to start by creating your customer personas. I'm not going to cover that today, but if you haven't done that, we have a program called Futurize Foundation. You should do that. People who've done that have nailed their customer audience. By nailing your customer audience, everything in your strategy fits in. So who is your ideal customer? It's absolutely essential for you to know it, know that. These are the people you love working with. They love working with you. They will pay you what you deserve. And typically they don't haggle because you are resolving their biggest of pains and they value what you do for them and they will pay you for the honor. However, those people who haggle, who say, I can get it somewhere else. You know, that's because your solution to them is general. They can get it anywhere else. And you're probably not, they're probably not the right customer for you. Or perhaps because you don't know who your right customer is, your services are so general that you have no differentiation. So how do you create differentiation? By knowing who your ideal customer is and fine tuning your products and services to your ideal customer. Until you do that, your social media is not going to work. And the other reason we need to know who your ideal customer is, there's over 3.8 billion, I think now 4 billion on social media. And who is not your customer? It's important you know that. Who are those tie kickers who waste your time? Even those people who come and buy from you and they consume all your time and energy and all your resources, all your staff time and energy. And you don't end up dealing with them at a profit. Who are those customers? Do you know them? Identify them. Do not market to them. Don't be desperate with them. If you know who your ideal customers are, we do not have to be desperate and sell to everybody. This is a very powerful exercise if you get it right. And when you do Futurize Foundation, you will know, be able to categorize your ideal customers into different people, you give them names and you, each name will have meaning. Otherwise, we have road biker Bob here and family biker Betty. Their needs are poles apart. But because you don't know them well enough, you think they are one and the same. That's a huge danger. And that's one of the reasons over 90% of business owners do not engage on social media well. Do you know what they value? What your ideal customer values? Do you know what your ideal customer's compelling problems are? 
Do you know what's really compelling, what their compelling issues are? Because if you know their compelling issues, you can deliver solutions to resolve these compelling issues. And then you will know whether your solution fits their lives. How do you know this? We got to go and talk to them, research as much as possible. Talking to five, seven, 10 people will give you priceless. The insights you get will be priceless. But also you can run quantitative surveys again. In Futurize Foundation, in some of the other webinars I've run, I have, um, in the past, uh, I've shown you how to do a, just a three question survey a, on a Google form that will give you so much insight. It's not funny. Look at those questions, they're so easy to ask. What is your biggest problem? What is the biggest problem you're having with, in this case, getting fit? But what's your industry? If you're in architecture, what's the biggest problem you're having in getting the right design that fits your home? And once they deliver that information, you put them into a spreadsheet and analyze them. And when you analyze them well, you know what the problems are. And you can refer to these problems when you're doing your marketing. And when you're building your content, you can give them answers because these are the results they want. And people pay us for resolving their most excruciating problems. And I've sorted this out under very difficult. How difficult? Has it been for you to find a solution? They say very difficult. And we got to focus on what's really hard for our customers. Because for the easy ones, they have solutions. Stop wasting our time. So this is about strategy.